day in the life of a professional drone pilot. So I started my day today at about 6.45 in the morning, headed upstairs to finish packing up the rest of my gear. Did a little bit of- Why does this guy look like a drone pilot? He looks just like, if I, if I like see drone pilot in the dictionary, he's like the face of it, like the glasses, the, is this he? Is, is he eating honey with a banana? I've never seen anyone eat honey with a banana. I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. I'll try that. Breakfast, then we headed out to load up the car. Nice uh, Jeep, though. I guess this dude's making some money with uh, flying those drones around. I don't know. Let's find out. With our backpack, stopped to top off on some gas, and then I had about a two hour drive to Toledo, Ohio. It's a two hour drive? Hell no. We arrived at the office, checked it out for a little bit, and then headed out to our first location. We ended up losing our drone, so we had to go to- Like I said, we ended up losing our drone. He's the drone pilot. I don't know. You lost the drone, bud. Like, I don't- <laughs> He says we. I love it when people say we did something when it's like, that's your job. Your job was to fly the drone. Uh, you lost the drone. Best by and grab another GoPro. Went back to the drawing board and figure out a solution for the rest of our shoot. I ended up crashing another drone. He crashed another drone. He ended up crashing another drone is what he said. He crashed two drones in one day. If this dude can get a job flying drones, I think I think anybody can get a job flying drones. I mean, clearly making some money. He got, had a nice truck. The, wow, okay. To end off the day, I promise I am a professional. Promise the office left, left a nice little note on my car, uh, which is kind of funny, but she apologized for leaving the note on the car. I finally got home. It was nice to be back home and then toured Adorable. a home that we are looking to buy. And then we finished off the night with some football. Looking to buy a home, this is looking to buy a home and uh, watching football. Looks like he has a pretty chill life, flying drones, crashing them, losing them. I don't know. He, he, he looks like he's got a maid. I don't know. Looks pretty good. My, when I was in school, my guidance counselor never advocated for drone pilot as a career option. I wish they would have. This looks pretty sweet. Oh, I did it. I went on to the FAA website. I took a course. This guy's kind of talking about how you become a drone pilot. Um, yeah. It took me less than two hours. I got one of my instructor friends at the flight school I work for to recommend me on IACRA. And within a month, I had the certificate in the mail. If you've been through private pilot training and you already have a private pilot certificate, all you have to do is go on the FAA website and take the two hour course. There's a test at the end, but it's not hard at all. You can actually go in and correct the ones you miss. I don't think you can even fail it, even if you try. If you're not a pilot, what you have to do is take an FAA written exam. You'll have to go to a certified testing center and take a 60 question test. And once you pass, then you can actually go and get your drone certification. Guess what I get? So yeah, that's all you gotta do. I guess you really just have to pass a test. Um, this girl here talks about how she went to the school and you have to pass this, I think it's an FAA test. Um, this girl says it took her like two hours to take the test. Uh, let's see what she's got to say. Guys, I passed my drone test. You can't say anything, it's in here. But I got an 82 and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so anxious right now because when I first pulled up to this like drone testing station, first of all, I'm at an actual drone college. It's not a drone college, it's a tech school. It's called Spartan <laughs> College of Aeronauticals. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And technology. And when I pulled up, there's literally like an airplane out here. Look at this. There's a whole plane. Oh my god, I swear that test was so hard. It took me almost the whole two hours. I almost the whole two hours to take a test. I swear I took tests that took way longer than that when I was in college, but I'm just saying. I was realizing as I was doing it, I was like, listen, 24 hours. You ever hours? take some of those physics tests? You ever have physics classes? That took me forever. I was so terrible at physics. It took me so long. You gotta like draw out all your problems and think through it. And like, especially like calculus tests too, those, I was never, I always had to like double check and triple check my work because I'm such a perfectionist. Those tests took me all of the time. I don't know. This is not enough, but you know what? We made it through, we pushed through. I literally told the lady at the end, I was like, yeah, I don't know about that one. But I got an 82, guys, and now I'm a drone pilot. If you have an extra 12,000. All right, well, and this dude is just gonna talk about, uh, he's saying it costs like, you have to have that license to fly drones, and if you get caught flying drones without that license, you could get uh, fined to 
thousand dollars laying around to pay off fines, just ignore what I'm about to say. Just because you're not getting paid to shoot something with your drone does not mean you don't need one of these Part 107 licenses. So if you're offering free drone shots to real estate agents in order to build up your portfolio while studying for the Part 107 exam, you can still get into a lot of trouble with the FAA because the FAA states in furtherance of a business. So you helping them get drone shots for their listing shows intent with your drone of furthering a business. And if you're using your drone to build your portfolio, that is also intent with the drone to further a business. Now, there is a lot of gray area because it's really hard to prove intent, but they are starting to crack down on us pilots. So if you are looking to fly commercially or in furtherance of a business, get your part 107, buy the right drone for you and learn how to get clients. So I got a question. Yeah. So from one licensed drone pilot to the next, do you have trouble keeping women off of you? All the time. Yeah, flying drones, I'm sure it gets you tons of women. I'm sure these guys are just drowning in hot babes. I'm Officer Ellis with the Glendale Police Department. So this is just one example of kind of a career you can have flying drones. This guy's uh, with criminal justice, I guess. He, they fly drones over and, you know, find bad guys or whatever. I don't know. Your drones that we use to search houses for suspects or lost or missing persons, all the way up to large drones that we use for a DFR program, otherwise known as a drone first responder. In those instances, we use the drone to get over ahead of incidents while they're happening to give patrol officers on the ground a better idea of what they're walking into. The drone in my hand here is a Mavic 2 Enterprise Edition drone, which is pretty much the workhorse of our drone fleet. This drone gives us the ability to see at night with its thermal imaging capabilities. It also has a spotlight as well as a speaker that we're able to communicate with suspects and give them a safe route out of maybe a barricade situation or give them a warning that maybe a canine may be used if they don't surrender peacefully. Keeping the public safe is always our goal with these types of situations. Thanks for tuning in to GPD Behind the Scenes. Yeah, so apparently they use drones and the, you know, police officers use drones now. I don't know, maybe that's a, I guess that's a job you can get. Uh, I never heard about it until right now, but uh, I did some research online, I think, People were paying pretty good money uh, to be a drone pilot. It still says on ZipRecruiter that you can make six figures as a drone pilot. I, I've i never met one before. I, I think people mostly do it for like freelance and, you know, work with real estate agents and stuff. But um, there's another guy right here who does like agriculture. I guess they have like these agricultural drones that spray the crops and stuff. So that's another job apparently. All right, let's look. Mike with New Ag. I've been getting negative comments about these drones being able to do a good swath and if they're efficient. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is the way to do it. I would almost dare to bet that this does a better job than airplanes or helicopters. That's how convinced I am. First, I fly the boundaries. Once I got my boundaries made, I bring the drone back. I start the pump. I fill my tank. I swap the battery. tell it what parameters I want to fly. How many gallons an acre do I want? How fast do I want the drone to fly? What is my route spacing? Do I want an auto route boundary? Once I get that set, I send the drone out and it will do the mission all on its own. It will fly the straight lines first and then it will do the auto route boundary. Once it gets done with that, it will return back and land where it started off all on its own. That's how good these drones are. Get a hold of us, newwayag.com. All right, and this All next right. guy Final. here, this is an example of a commercial use of flying a drone. Um, a lot of like upscale commercial real estate properties like to use these drones to kind of look around on the inside, get a good video when they're selling a property or just showing up a property. Uh, so that's what this guy's doing. Starting right at the entrance. Going to hit this chandelier area. Looks really nice. I'm going to glance over this little interview spot. Boom. I'm gonna fly in here actually for a little bit. Sure. Go outside. Boom. Very cool. Glancing at these offices. Going into the meeting area. I'm gonna fly across now. I'm about to hit the hallway now. I'm gonna glance here. And in this last office area in the back. It's like boxes back there, but it should be fine. Oh, in the back corner. Yeah. All right, I'm about to hit the elevator pretty soon. And I want to dive right past these little rocks here and then up the river real low. Let's go right here. Okay. 
This looks pretty sweet. See the waterfall? That wasn't the smoothest dive. Oh, I'm losing my balance. I'm in a really weird position flying. Well, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, people are out here making money flying drones. Why can't you? Uh, that's all I got to say. My motto is if someone else can do it, I can do it. It's always been my motto. You know, if they got two arms and, you know, they can think properly. They don't have any mental disorders. Uh, you know, and you're the same way. You don't have any mental disorders and you have two arms and two legs. Like, what's stopping you from doing what someone else can do? You know, so if you want to fly some drones and make some money, I think you can do it. So I got to say, have a good day. Bye.